Hello everyone, this is Jack and welcome back to the Minecraft video. Today in this one, we're going to bring a look at the working calculator in Minecraft. Alright, so as you can see, this is a little bit bigger than our usual day-to-day -day calculators, but it functions and it is in Minecraft. Alright, so as you can see, this is our number input and it is similar to the real-life calculators which is in a 3 by 3 grid so as you can see this is 1 and this is 9 and all the numbers are between here and you can put all your numbers from here and over here we have all the functions that the calculator will carry out and we only have two of these so as you can see we can subtract numbers and also we can add number up to 15 so that means that we can only get the maximum answer of 15 due to the way I've built this so you can just flick this lever downwards so now it's pointing at the addition so it's going to be adding all the numbers that we are going to be inputting over here so here is the add or subtract button over here and over here we have the reset so these are all the inputs that you can play with and now let's test this out and see if this works alright so the first thing that we're going to be doing is subtracting some numbers so I can go for any number let's say 8 minus 5 so over here we should get a 3 and as you can see we get the right answer over here and now when we're done we can just reset this and do another calculation alright now we're going to be adding some numbers so we're just gonna flick this lever downwards and now let's go over here and I'm just gonna do 6 plus 5 which should be an 11 and we got the 11 as you can see that's the right answer and we're just gonna go over here and reset this alright now I know some of you are going to be thinking what if we do something like 1 minus 5 which is a negative answer but this calculator is going to be handling that as well over here as you can see this top row is the negative number row so if you get any negative answer they're going to be displayed on the top row right over there so let's switch this back to subtract mode and what I'm gonna do is just do a uh, 2 minus 6 which should be a minus 4 so as you can see we get the 4 on the negative number row alright so there are some drawbacks of this calculator as you can see it can only add up to 15 that 16 is just for showing purposes it never lights up and uh, we only have numbers from 1 to 9 so you can't really do any huge calculations but it still works and it's in Minecraft. So now that we have seen this in action, let's check out the redstone. As you can see, this is the redstone behind our calculator. Now I know this is not really pocket sized, but it is still smaller than some of the calculators that I've seen on YouTube that actually don't fit on your screen. Now I'm not going to be doing a brief explanation on how this works, but I'm going to be running you through what happens in this machine. Now firstly what happens is the inputs of from these buttons are split into 9 different lines which feed into these dividers over here. Now from here the line is split into two different ways, one going downwards and one going in straight like this. Now over here we have RS knowledge and each of these lines have their own and what happens is this will activate this RS knowledge and it will activate this comparator which will extend this block over here in front of this chest so now the um, comparator is going to be able to pull out the output from this chest over there which will feed into this adding and subtracting mechanism over here so as you can see all of these chests have a particular number of items inside of them now I have been using some non stackable items you can also use some stacks of items in this as well but make sure they are like 64 all each like that and uh, these all represent a number so as you can see this chest over here has three items so it the comparator will take a signal strength of two out of that chest so that's why I have hooked it up to the second button right over here so now we have all the numbers and all of these feed up over here into the adding and subtracting mechanism over here now as you can see this is the top line and this is the bottom line so when you press the button first number is going into this 
top line over here and the second number that you put in is going into the bottom line over here. So firstly what happens and when you are subtracting you obviously are going to be giving a bigger number firstly and then a smaller number. So what happens is the upper line will get your bigger number which will go over here into this comparator which is set on subtract mode and the bottom of num number is going to be coming from here and it will be feeding up to this comparator as well. So this comparator will subtract this signal strength from here and it will give you the answer. So if we're doing 6 over here, 6 minus 5, we will have a signal strength of 6 over here and a signal strength of 5 over here and we will be only getting a signal strength of 1 through this line which will be feeding to the display over here. Now if you're trying to mess with the calculator and giving a smaller number on the top row and a bigger number on the bottom row, what happens over here we have this circuit which will flip the sides. So as you can see the bottom number is going to be coming over here and the top number is going to be subtracted from this and this will feed back into the display and on the top row you will get the negative number. Now if you're adding it becomes a little bit more complicated. As you can see this is the circuit for adding two inputs over here. So this is the first number and this is the second number. It doesn't matter which way you put this in it's going to be adding the same signal strengths. So as you can see over here we have a chest which is full with items and it's giving a 15 strength over here and a 15 over here. So what happens is we are subtracting these two from 15 and then subtracting that number from 15 which will result in giving us this number over here. Now that might not have made any sense but I'm going to be displaying it on the screen so you can understand. In Minecraft we can only subtract signal strengths. So to add two signal strengths we have to make a system like this. So these chests over here are giving a signal strength of 15. Now to add these two inputs what we do is subtract these two inputs from the 15 and then subtract that total from 15. Now that will give us the sum of these two inputs. And now when you get the answer, the answer is going to be feeding into this line which is going to be connecting up into the display. Now for display, as you can see we don't really have anything fancy going on. We just have a line of redstone and some repeaters connecting up into these lamps. Alright, so that is everything in this calculator and I will leave a link down in the description so you can download this world and do some of your very very hard problems that you can do in your mind and maybe solve them using this magnificent calculator. Now I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on this and the reason is behind me and uh, yeah so if you do want to see a tutorial you can leave a comment down below and I might end up explaining some of these components so you can build this in your survival world but I don't think that building this in your world is going to be helping you calculate anything so I don't recommend it but that was the end of this video I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos I will see you in the next one thanks for watching and goodbye